Hello everyone and welcome back to Anton's class where we discuss everything from archaeology and earth science to nutrition and spirituality. And today's topic is archaeology, one of my personal favorites. And today I would like to discuss the Indus Valley Civilization and what recent genetic discoveries reveal about the origins of the Indus Valley Civilization as well as the origins of modern day people living on the Indian subcontinent today. This article in Caravan reads, Indus Valley people did not have genetic contribution from the steppes, head of ancient DNA lab testing, Raki Gari samples. So the samples that they're testing are from the Harappan site of Raki Gari and Haryana, and according to Niraj Rai, the head of the ancient DNA laboratory at Lucknow's Birbal Sani Institute of Paleosciences, Quote, it will show that there is no step contribution to the Indus Valley DNA, unquote. He also says that the Indus Valley people were indigenous, but in the sense that their DNA had contributions from Near Eastern Iranian farmers mixed with the Indian hunter-gatherer DNA. That is still reflected in the DNA of the people in the Andaman Islands. And here I'll have a few images of people of the Andaman Islands. So according to Raj, the people of the Indus Valley civilization that they tested had similar genetic profiles to these people of the Andaman Islands. So although ancient samples from the Indus Valley population did not have steppe ancestry, modern people in India today do have ancestry from the steppe region, according to this and other sources. This fairly recent ancestry found in modern India is associated with Eurasian steppe pastoralists, which are believed to be the originators of the Indo-European language family. So because Indus Valley civilization predates the arrival of the Indo-European speakers into the subcontinent, it is most likely the case that the language of the Indus Valley belonged to the Dravidian language family. The Dravidian language family includes languages like Tamil, which is spoken in South India today. Pictured here is the Indus Valley script, which has not been deciphered yet, but is believed to be Dravidian in origin and nature. There is genetic evidence to suggest that when the Indo-European speakers arrived in India, some of the inhabitants of the Indus Valley stayed and mixed with the new arrivals, becoming the ancestral North Indian population, while some of the population of the Indus Valley migrated south, further mixing with hunter-gatherers to become what is known as the ancestral South Indian population. Culturally, both populations would have retained some aspect of the Indus Valley civilization. But only the modern-day Dravidian speakers maintained their linguistic ties to the Indus Valley. Perhaps it can also be surmised that the primary forebearers of ancestral South Indian, such as the Tamil, would be closer phenotypically to the original population of the Indus Valley civilization.
also from Harappa.com, which produces lots of valuable and up-to-date information concerning the Indus Valley or Harappan civilization. I would like to read this quote, which says, There are several structural and lexical Dravidisms, even in the Rig Veda, the earliest preserved text collection pointing to the presence of Dravidian speakers in northwest India in the second millennium B.C., it goes on to say that the Indus language is likely to have belonged to the North Dravidian sub-branch. In closing, I would just like to read one more quote from sciencemag.org. This is from an article concerning the Yamnaya, which is the name given to the Eurasian steppe pastoralist. It says... Traces of West Eurasian, Eurasian genes in Asian populations have been taken as evidence that Yamnaya left a large genetic legacy east of the steppe. Yet Willerslev's team found little Yamnaya DNA in Central and South Asia, and none in Anatolia. Anyways, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Please leave your comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and give me a like. If you're interested in this sort of content, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Take care.